Well, hello, I'm Richard Branson. We've been fortunate enough to have achieved some pretty extraordinary things at Virgin over the years, but perhaps none quite as amazing as what you'll see in the next few minutes. Virgin Galactic is on its way to becoming the world's first commercial space line. Our suborbital space trips promise to be the most intense and wonderful experiences that our passengers have ever had. We are in the process of optimizing, absolutely optimizing the experience that you will have when you fly in space. And it's just gonna be fabulous. The things that people want to do in space, they want to go there, they want to see the planet Earth, they want to experience weightlessness, they want to have a mind-blowing experience. The day that Bert won the X Prize was a hugely significant one for us. When it was all over, I remember chatting to Bran Binney, the pilot on that epic flight. He's an enormously experienced and talented test pilot and a master of understatement. It's got all the right elements to excite the people for all the right reasons. The ride up is momentous. The view at the top is hugely rewarding. The ride back down is pretty spectacular as well. Pictures are pretty dramatic, but the, the eye is so much more dynamic. You combine that with the other things going on, the weightlessness, it's pretty wonderful. The rocket motor ride is pretty memorable as well. You're not going to soon forget that, especially ignition. Before you ignite it, you're going, you're indicating 140 knots or so. And within 10 seconds or 11 seconds, you're supersonic. So, you know, you get three Gs on your back instantly when it lights and uh, boy that first 10 seconds is about the most dynamic flying i've ever done <laughs> this this wave of energy flows through the vehicle and it is it's high water it, it is, is high water when you look out the window and you see the curvature of the earth and you can see the edge along the edge of the earth you can see this thin blue line that is the atmosphere and the colors and the textures on the ground and it's just it's a, it's a mind-blowing thing to see, it really is. I mean, I'm sure everybody who's been in the shuttle or on the space station knows the same thing, but I'd never seen that before, and it really, really was a remarkable experience. We're designing our spacecraft so that each of our passengers will have the room and the freedom to enjoy the amazing sensation of weightlessness. The system will also be large enough to allow those individuals to really experience weightlessness, to really experience the beauty of the curvature of the Earth, and to be able to see that from any angle in the ship that they're at. And also to be able to experience the real feeling of the power of flight into space. While you're up there, you got four to five minutes of zero G and an enjoyment of, of an environment to you never experienced before. You've maybe seen it on covers of magazines and, and now you're experiencing it uh, firsthand. Right. It's, a, it's a delight, it's a wonder. Um, and, um, and I'm sure with everybody being loose in there, they'll be letting go M&Ms and taking pictures of each other. And I, I mean, it'll That's, just be the most fabulous thing that you could imagine. Safety is and will always be our guiding star. And we're helped enormously in that objective by Bert Rutan's genius for design and construction. When you air launch almost out of the atmosphere, if you have any issues with the rocket engine, you shut it down, you dump the fuel, you glide in and make a normal landing. That's huge. That's extremely important. Where Virgin Galactic came along, we were looking at the space industry and looking at the pros and cons of it and looking at the difficulties that it had. 
And one thing was certain, these government-based launch systems were very, very expensive and very dangerous. Spaceship One has a unique feathering configuration. It can come into the atmosphere at any angle and it'll straighten itself out without the pilot having to fly that or without a computer having to do it. And this is the first horizontal landing, runway landing spacecraft that's ever had this feature. So we're immune to accidents caused by flight control failure during re-entry. We'll also dramatically improve the environmental impact that has been associated to space travel in the past. We found a motor to power the spaceship too, working with Burt Rutan, which is much more environmentally benign than the solid fuel rocket motor launching from the ground as the shuttle does. The enormous amount of power that it takes to get a rocket launched from the ground doesn't apply to this system. We're actually going up uh, in an aircraft with very uh, state-of-the-art jet engines. Maybe one day those jet engines will be able to be fueled by renewable uh, jet aviation fuel. Um, but the rocket burn, which is what most people are concerned about in any sort of space access, is very short and most of it is out of the atmosphere. Our first Virgin Galactic astronauts will be booking their own place in history as pioneers of a new space age. The video and photographic images they will bring back from the journey will be theirs to share with their children and grandchildren. We knew that Virgin would do it right and uh, Virgin is doing it right. I mean, it's so exciting to see all the customers from all around the world. You know, people from every corner of the globe are here tonight looking at um, this new spaceship that we're all going to fly in. Every event they've had, they've shown us something new that makes you want to do it even more. It's pretty amazing. They actually keep the whole group involved very, very closely in all the developments. By the time the first astronauts have taken their seats in Spaceship Two, our aim will be to have them fully relaxed and fully trained after a program of three intensive days at the spaceport in New Mexico. Most of all, they will feel through this experience that they really have been up there where only 450 people have been over the last 45 years. I'll be going to space, and what's more, my parents and children will be coming with me. Best of all, we, and I hope you, will be travelling on a spaceship owned and operated by Virgin Galactic. Space is absolutely crucial. It's our communications, it's our logistics of moving goods and services, and it's also, most importantly of all, the science of what we understand and know about the planet we live on. We have great operational experience, which is just going to be so important in getting us off the ground. You know Richard will do it right. He's just an incredible entrepreneur and a very spectacularly successful airline controller. And I think uh, to run a space line, you need someone with that kind of experience. It's very important to have his experience his clout, his uh, personality, and, uh, and it's just, just fabulous to have him on board, you bet. Well, I hope you'll be as excited and inspired by Virgin Galactic's mission as I am. And I'll see you up there. <laughs>